the old trailer right here. Not really interested in the old trailer, to be honest. The state of Ohio has mowed this down. The old trailer is so overgrown. You can see one of the doors has a tree growing right up over it. That trailer is really overgrown. See the door is open in there. see this has been without power for a while the driveway is right here by the way has been mowed there's a the driveway What's going on everybody? This place is ominous. So check this out Marty. Look at this. A lot of cars on this property. Four cars visible. I can't even tell you what kind of car this is. Somebody who knows cars better than me. This has been sitting here at least 20 years. There's the old plates on it. No trespassing sign. GV, probably a Ford of some kind. It's a Renault, is that Pontiac? Encore. Renault. Pontiac or Buick. So 1994. Wow, this one's been sitting a while. Look at that mildew. Wow. Poison ivy in here. Something's in there. 
something definitely in the barn. Any animals in there? More than likely raccoons. I worry about, I do worry about dogs, to be honest. There's a shitload of poison ivy back in here. Gotta check this barn out though. Holy mackerel. It is hot out here. Whew. And this barn is lean and bad. Wow. This thing is totally collapsed. So again, I'm, I'm struggling with these cars. I just, I don't know these cars that well. I'm thinking that's some kind of Pontiac or Buick or a Renault, I guess that's a brand Renault. And the other one's probably a little Ford of some kind. Let's get out of here. Ton of poison ivy in here. I can see that's a Grand Am, there's a Geo. I can tell those, this Renault is definitely a brand, so the last time that was registered was 94. My god. There's a Pontiac Grand Am and then the Geo. The Grand Am is from the 90s. Plates on this one. One of 11, one of 11, Let's see what these are. One of 12, one of 12, so 12 years. The overgrowth is absolutely crazy. So this geo doors wide open. I'm, this thicket is just craziness. Holy mackerel. 12 years. And this is what happens in 12 years. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I'm getting through there. I guess there is a way, but so you can see something's been bedding down right in there. Look at the inside of this car. Holy crap. So the hoods are off all these four vehicles. Whew. I don't know about this house. This overgrowth is immense. There's like not one clear path through here. Well, I'm gonna do my best. I'll be back. Look at this TV.
It looks like there might be a wasp nest up under there. That is wild. This house is, I don't know, I don't know guys. Another little outbuilding in there. This overgrowth is just craziness. This is a cooler. I can smell the house from here. This tall grass always makes me nervous because any kind of animals can be bedding down. And certainly inside the house. Yeah, I can smell it from here. You know, you guys call me a coward or whatever. But until you're here in these places in the moment, like I'm standing right here right now, and like you might not even ever see this video. And if you do see it, well, I made it out safely. But it's just me. I'm just by myself. And this is all in the moment. Like as I'm talking right now, we're here. And that's it. Like you just have the privilege of seeing the video later. And that's just lucky. Nobody knows what's going to happen here. Like, I don't know what's going to happen in the next three minutes. And that's why this is incredibly not easy to do. A lot of people take it for granted. You have to be so alert. So aware. Just constantly listening. And another thing that's kind of making me leery is because this house, the owner is actually still registered here. I mean, this is stupid. Of course she's not like dead in the house, but you do have to wonder. Holy shit. There's no way I'm going in there. I'm sorry. The smell is like about as bad as it gets about as bad as it gets. There's a refrigerator right there. I'm willing to bet it's probably full. I, the lighting's horrible. This is about as bad as it gets. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I believe everything's still in that house. Oh, oh man. I kind of don't want to be here anymore, to be honest. I don't know what you can see. It's so, um... The lighting was so bad in that porch, but it was knee knee high of uh, items. The stench was extreme. I don't know what the hell kind of plant this is. Man. You gotta watch and worry about cisterns too, to be honest. Yeah, there's, um, 
What I'm going to do is, I don't even want to do this. Oh man. I simply, I almost got, I got to cover my nose, man. The smell is absolutely um unbelievable. Holy shit. Mm. On the road with Loretta and the coal miners. Holy shit. God damn. No goddamn way anybody is walking in there. Oh man. That smell is abysmal. This is probably the worst smell I've ever smelled in a house. It is just like pure filth. Oh man. It is hot in there. Oh man. It's this very ripe, pungent, organic, trash odor. I think you get the gist. You know what, probably that fridge is probably open. I mean, full. Oh man. God. Damn it. Has aluminum roof. Oh. You'd have to be a fool to be in there. I'm a fool to be here. This part has a tarp on it. This is one of the areas I think the roof kind of started to collapse. I don't know what the hell is a mattress there. And this porch back in there. Ah, Jesus. I'm getting the hell out of here. Sorry for those who don't like swear words. This is not a kid channel. Oh, a lot of, ah, yeah, ah, that odor is strong. Holy mackerel. Just look at the upstairs, I don't know if you can see it, but Holy crap. Whew. I can smell it from here again. Yikes. That's all I needed to see. And guys, um, I'm trying to do this again. I'm really trying. Um, but my biggest challenge is that I can't monetize these videos. I have no way. I mean, it's not the point, I guess but I need something to help kind of offset this. Um, I'm trying to get up to my monetization hours again because after that three years ago when I shut the channel down, it's been basically, the hours have been way down. I haven't been able to bounce back. So any you know $5, $10 donation would really help. And hopefully I can get monetization back on. Otherwise, I just can't do this. Because again, you gotta realize it's like not just my time, it's the gas and everything else. It's the whole business. But there's a the camper. Again, I don't really care 
about the camper. We saw what we needed to see. It's crazy that like every single thing is left in there, including that fridge, which I think that is why the odor is so strong. Oof. Holy mackerel. Maybe I'm an idiot for doing this in July. Got to worry about a lot of ticks, um, animals in the overgrowth. I think it was a raccoon in the barn, but in the garage. So yeah, the barn. But this is the power station, which they mow. That's going to be it, folks. Have a good one.